Anyway, we should go up. Okay, we uh, introduce the situation here. Okay, so we started. Well, actually, okay, we got the keys. No, wait, wait, let's go way back. So one day, Nick and I, I guess I decided we must look for a house because I had a baby. And I was feeling very, um, like I needed to have a house. Anyway, so then, with the yard. So then what happened was, we looked yard. at what could we afford in Vancouver, and basically we could afford nothing, and we looked at these dumps, like dump of dump of dumps. Like you can't believe how dumpy they were, right? So then we come upon here. It's a beautiful sunny day. We plan this great picnic with my sister Jessica and all these fun things are happening, right? And we come to this place and there was like this glow around the whole home because it was so like amazing. And they had this couple that were just like us and they had an 18-year-old son just like us and we just thought 18 months old. 18 months. Anyway, I'm just I had a whole beer. <laughs> anyway, so the um Anyway, so all of a sudden it was shining. But are you supposed to watch me? Talking. Okay, so the lights were shining, the sun was shining, the birds were chirping, there was even a rainbow probably, and we decided let's take it now. But we didn't even look at anything, like how bad it was. You didn't really look at the situation. Nick, Nick, I don't know what Nick looked. I knew it was bad. But he's not type A, so he just totally like went with the groove. And I, I, I basically became completely delusional and think I had this beautiful house. Anyway, we get the keys on October 30th, and I walk in, and all I can get is this waft of cat piss hitting me, like just basically pushing me over. So we go to the carpet, and the floor to Lee and the cat piss. Where's the floor to Lee? Come the doors. Come see him. All, it was everywhere, Jess. And it's all sort of yeah. Anyway, there was walls everywhere, and they basically, it was a family that had their bedroom where the front room should be. The front, the hall was the dining room. They rented out one basement suite and two basement yeah, suites to pay off the mortgage. So, <laughs> anyway, so we we fantasized and fantasized because, of course, we put the down, to, down payment in um, August, and we didn't get it until October. So, anyway, it was quite disappointing. And now, and then we met. We met a man who saved our life, and his name's David. These floors are turned out really nice. I know. Are you guys putting a mold in this? This is like the grossest, grossest thing you've ever had. Like this all under this floor was fake brick linoleum, and it was like from 1970. It was just disgusting. Wow. It was just disgusting. Like he wanted, he wanted to cry. But what's here? All kinds of things. The weird thing is the door is straight out of the kitchen, so if guests come over and have to take a dump, big trouble. So we have a downstairs bathroom, but that's about ten times worse. So we're actually going to change the location of the door, we hope. Oh, the, like, around the corner. Yeah, to over here, so it's a bit normal. So you can cook and poo at the same time. It's a good thing. <laughs> and then this was the baby's room, and now we made an electronic high-tech room. <laughs> with our big electronic computer and, and our big electronic TV that's not there yet. But they're not really that electronic because we're not really that tech. But this is our 